Evolution Genetic Diversity is a simulation designed to enable students to investigate genetic diversity within small and large populations in both a qualitative and quantitative manner. When we enter the main screen, we can see that the six islands have already been set up. The beetles are breeding. Along the bottom, we have individual types of beetles and their numbers, as well as their totals. We have control with pause and play buttons, also a reset button. The number of weeks that the simulation has gone through so far, we can swap between islands, view graphs, or even view data. Along the right hand side, we have panels with various functions. With disasters, in the first case, we'll use a nuclear accident to generate 100% of casualties, and on the next island, we'll generate 25% casualties. The next control panel, Populate, enables you to populate a particular island with single beetles. By using the right mouse, I'm able to uh, introduce multiple individuals into this island. By using the buttons down the bottom, I can introduce 10, 100 or maximum number of beetles using these particular ratios here, which can be changed. I'll just introduce 10 beetles here. The major control is sea level. Here we can change the landforms by simply changing the sea level. Down, we have a full land mass. We can also have a single land mass with a bridge, and by raising the water level, that bridge can disappear. Further drops in sea level will enable us to look at various island sizes and various populations. Another option is to view island data. This enables us to just mouse over any particular island. We can observe the different numbers of beetles as well as the allele frequency. View other clips in this series for a more detailed explanation of the program.